in the heart of Studiopolis Zone. Hope you guys are having a lovely Monday. Yes, the cat bottle is back. We're back to doing SGG plays, so the cat bottle is returned. <laughs> I don't know. I may I may not switch as often between the two, but uh Yes, we're back. Hello, hello. Who do we got? Hello, Zach. Hello, Boots. Hello, Legit. And hello, NSM. And hello, Gabe. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Hope you guys are having a lovely Monday. Start of a brand new week. Start of a busy week for me. We've got a, we've got a lot of streaming to do this week, so I hope you guys are prepared. So what's up? What have y'all been up to? Let's see. I'm finally free from being a subscriber to Mr. Beast. Congratulations, I think. Are we... <laughs> has has something happened with Mr. Beast to... Are we canceling him or something? What What's up? <laughs> I don't watch his stuff, but I know that he, like, does a lot of humanitarian stuff, so I don't know. I don't... I try not to get involved in YouTube drama. It's it's bad for my... It's bad for my mental health. Hello, Eric! Welcome, welcome! Good to see you! Glad you love the new model, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going on vacation later this week. Nice. Where are you headed, man? You going somewhere fun? We're canceling him for faking his videos. Oh, dear. Okay. Well, that's a that's a good reason, I guess. Oh, brother. Yeah, like I said, I try to I try to stay away from from YouTube drama. There's enough drama going on in my life as it is. I don't need to get my involve myself in anybody else's. Palm Beach, Florida. Nice. That sounds awesome. I hope you have an awesome time. Uh I have not been to Palm Beach, but I have been to uh I have been to Panama City. Way, way back when, when I was in college, I went there for spring break and it was pretty wild. I'm not a, I'm not a partier. Uh, so a lot of my time was kind of spent hanging out at the arcade that they had there. <laughs> and I have been to Disney World. Uh, so I have been to Orlando. Uh, but other than that, that's the extent of my, uh, Florida experience was Disney World and then Panama City. Uh, which I wouldn't mind going back to Panama City, you know, outside of spring break, outside of drunk college students going all over the place and ruining everything for everybody. I would, I wouldn't mind going back there again. Hello, Red Car! Welcome, welcome! Thank you so much for tuning in! I love it. She's so fluffy. I'm gonna die. No, don't do that! Don't do that! Don't die! Don't die! It's okay. It's okay. It's just fluff. It's just fluff. That's all it is. <laughs> oh, man. Last year, I went to Marco Island. I'm not familiar with where that is. Head pat! Where'd my head pat go? There's my head pat. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I had to switch some stuff around on the redeem so that I wouldn't uh, break certain things. <laughs> I also went to Orlando and went to Disney World for my birthday when my mom was alive and well. Oh, my condolences for your mom, but yeah, or Disney World is fun. Granted, when I went there, I was, uh, oh lord, when was that? That was like right about 2000, the year 2000 is when I went. I was still in, I was still in junior high. Uh, so I'm sure a lot of stuff has changed since then. Obviously, they got all the Star Wars stuff out there now, and, uh, probably some Marvel stuff, too. 
I wouldn't mind going back. My husband's never been. So I, I promised him one of these days I was going to take him to Disney World at some point. Uh, so... I don't know, maybe for, uh, maybe for our anniversary trip down the road, we'll go there. Uh, opinion on my vid? Um, I actually have not had the chance to check it out yet, Redcar. Uh, but I will tomorrow, and I will let you know in the Discord, okay? Yeah, Disney World is immense, man. Like, it's massive how, how huge that place is. I actually stayed, uh... When I was there, I stayed at one of the, uh, I stayed at the, uh, oh god, I can't remember. It was one of the resorts near Epcot is where we stayed. I think it was the Swan and Dolphin? Uh, no, that wasn't it. That was the one next to us. Uh, Yacht and Boat Club, that's what it was. It was the Yacht and Boat Club that we stayed at. So we were within walking distance to Epcot, and then we just rode the bus everywhere else. Uh, so... I, I'm trying to remember, like, all the stuff that I did. I went with my grandparents, so we weren't able to, like, do a whole bunch of the rides. The rides were mostly just me and my cousin and my aunt who, uh, who went with us. Uh, so I know that we did Space Mountain. I know we did Splash Mountain. I know we got the, uh... Uh, they wanted, they wanted to get me on the rock and roll roller coaster, but I was scared of it at the time, so I didn't go. Uh, but I think the, the thing that I enjoyed most was going to Epcot and going all around their, uh, global village. Uh, cause I just really like learning about other cultures all over the world. I did back when I was a kid, I do now, and I thought, honestly, I thought the culture, the global village was the coolest part of my trip. I mean, yeah, yeah, the Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom and all that jazz, but the global village is kind of what really stuck with me. It was just so cool. Seeing all those different cultures represented in one place. It was it was dope. Epcot was awesome, man. I would love to go back. It was always my dream. I was a grown 24-year-old man living the childhood I never had. Hey, you are never too old to go to Disney World, man. You're never too old. Never too old to go. I, uh... <laughs> there were... I mean, heck, my grandparents went with us. And even though they didn't hop on the rides with us, uh, we still had a great time. I hear they're building a Super Nintendo World in Universal Studios in Florida. I want to go there so bad. I mean, I'd love to go back to Disney World, but yo, Super Nintendo World would be so dope. I actually had a friend of mine who went to Japan recently. Uh, he went to the Super Nintendo World in Japan, and uh, he said it was absolutely wild. He brought us back a Goomba uh, coffee mug. <laughs> uh, he also... He was also the same person who brought me back the first two. Thank you for the ring! He got me the first two volumes of Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer in, in Japanese because I was whining that at the time I didn't have any merch or manga of any of my roles. So he went and found the first two volumes of, uh, well, what am I doing? There we go. Of, uh, of Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer for me in Japanese. Hoshino Samidare. Uh, so I was really, I was really happy about that. They have Pride of Place on top of my TV. <laughs> Hello, Stumpy! Welcome, welcome! Thank you so much for tuning in! We're talking about Super Nintendo World and Disney World and how we all want to go someday. <gasps> Hello again, SGG! Hello again, Snip the Cat! Good to see you! Welcome, welcome! Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Japan's version is always superior to America's version of uh, Super Nintendo World. Isn't Universal Studios Japan, like, way better, too, over there? Because I know that they do, like, uh, anime tie-ins at Universal Studios Japan. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, they had a My Hero Academia tie-in a while back, didn't they? Or am I, am I just imagining that? I don't remember. I don't remember. <sighs> Thank you for your condolences. Uh, you're, you're very welcome. Sorry, I'm sorry for your loss. The Japanese name for Goomba is Karibo, which makes me think of the Yu-Gi-Oh monster instead. Okay, no joke, I have a friend who's really into Yu-Gi-Oh. Karibo is his favorite monster. It's not... I mean, he, he, he likes Dark Magician and all that, and yeah, yeah, that's all great, but Karibo is his absolute favorite. And he has been begging me to make a Karibo plushie, which I may, I may break down and do at, at, at some point, because it's easy! Karibo is just a ball. It's just a boy. He's just a round boy with 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 uh, claws and feet. And I can I can do that. I can get that. 
<laughs> so there, there may be a Karibo plushie coming at some point. Uh, stay tuned. They have a Yoshi right there. The food is just better in general. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd, I'd heard that the food was really good. Apparently, you still have to get like a freaking reservation to even eat at the Mario Cafe in uh, Super Nintendo World. You have to get a reservation to eat there. It's not like a. It's not like all the other uh, places in Disney World. Well, I know there are some places in Disney World that require reservations, uh, but most of them you can walk in and eat anytime. So, yeah, it's it's crazy. Universal Studios Japan is featured in an early hark of MHA, so the it, the idea of USJ doing MHA makes sense to me. That's a lot of alphabet soup that just got thrown around, but I see what you're saying. <laughs> Did you ever go to any of the Sonic Speed cafes? Unfortunately, no. Uh, there weren't any in my area. Um, there was the one in San Diego or San Francisco. I don't remember which one. I want to say San Diego. Uh, but no, I haven't ever been to one, and I really want to go someday. Honestly, the, the shadow pizza looks a lot more appealing <laughs> to me than the Sonic Chili Dogs, just because I'm not a big chili person. <laughs> but I am going to try and go if I can get the if I can get the tickets. Um, the Sonic Symphony Orchestra is coming to Dallas in around the end of December, and I really, really want to try and get tickets to go see that. And that it, I'm not gonna ask for anything uh, for Christmas other than tickets to that. I'm not, <laughs> not gonna ask for anything else for Christmas. I want tickets to Sonic Symphony Orchestra. That's all I'm asking for for Christmas. Maybe if I'm a good girl, I'll get it. <laughs> I've been to San Diego. Nice. I haven't. Uh, I have been to California, but that was only for. Uh, I've been to LA. Uh, but not, like, touristy L.A. I've been to kind of, like, ghetto-fied L.A. Uh, <laughs> and I've been to Disneyland when I was really, really young. Uh, like, probably second or third grade, I went to Disneyland. And I don't remember a whole lot of it, uh, to be fair. I remember we were there, like, as the park was closing. And I was afraid we were going to be locked in. Uh, so that was, that was all I remember. We probably did rides and, and parades and all that stuff, uh, but all I remember was the fear of being locked in Disneyland for the night. That's all I remember. <laughs> Hello, Pink Kitty. Hello, Kid Anime. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hello, Lightning. Welcome, welcome. Oh, my voice cracked. What the heck? I've been to Disneyland, but never Disney World. I've been to both. Disney World, I feel, is superior to Disneyland, but also... Keep in mind, I was like seven or eight when I went to Disneyland, and I was a teen already a teenager at Disney World. Hey, thank you very much for the bid, NSM. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Have you been to Las Vegas? I have not. Uh, and that that's the thing. Like, I I think that I love the Vegas aesthetic. Of, I love old school Vegas aesthetic, but like... I, I'm not interested in casinos. The one casino that I went to was so depressing. It reeked of cigarettes, and it didn't look like anybody was having fun. It was just all slot machines. That's all. That's all of it. That's all it was. Uh, but I would love to, like, if, if, if I'm going to do Vegas, I want it to be old school Vegas. Like, uh, oh, it, like, like y'all know what I mean when I say old school Vegas, right? With, like, uh, blackjack dealers and poker dealers and everybody's all dressed up and really... And, 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 and it, it's an event. It's an event. That's the kind of, like, like Rat Pack, Dean Martin, uh... Oh, God. Has anyone here played Fallout New Vegas? That's the vibe I want to go for, except not destroyed. Vegas in its prime. That's what I want to see. Elvis Presley, yeah, 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 stuff like that, stuff like that. That's the kind of, that's the kind of Vegas experience I want. Old, give me old school classic Vegas, not this, not this new stuff. You will be gambling. I'm actually, <laughs> you mean, I mean, I'm, I'm actually not a, a big gambler. I, when I, I did have like 20 bucks when I went to the casino, when I went to that one casino and I lost all of it in like two minutes. It was pretty abysmal. <laughs> Vegas now is just sad alcoholic gambling addict at a slot machine. Yeah, that was the vibe that I got. That was the vibe that I got too, and that that's unfortunate. I really wouldn't. I I I wouldn't mind going to a casino if it was like the old school stuff, but uh, 
I live in Vegas and it's hot. Oh man, I imagine. I imagine. That's cool that you live in Vegas though. Nice. Can you do a Mario impression? Oh, don't worry. There will be plenty of Mario impressions once we start Paper Mario up tonight. <laughs> gotcha games are the equivalent to gambling. Yeah, truth. Truth. You are speaking truth, my friend. Which is also why I will never play a gotcha game because too much of my disposable income will go to that game and it'll be it'll be bad for my it'll be bad for my finances. I already know what that's gonna be like, but that might change if I actually get cast in a gotcha game. Maybe I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Man, y'all do not know how close y'all came to not having a stream tonight. I had a ma I had a massive headache earlier, but thankfully it cleared up just in time for my stream, so I'm very relieved about that. I was playing a gacha game in Danganronpa. Um, can you really call that a gacha game, though? I mean, hmm, I don't know. Chat, what what are we what are we of the opinion of? Is the is the mono mono machine a gotcha game or not? <laughs> I I actually I don't know if that would classify as a gotcha game or not. I mean you're throwing coins to get to get stuff, so I guess in a way it counts. <sighs> don't push yourself too hard. Thank you. Uh I'm I'm feeling much better. I'm if I was still not feeling great, I wouldn't be streaming right now, but uh I'm feeling good, so thank you. <laughs> You don't spend any in real life cash in the game, so it doesn't count as a gotcha game. Okay, that's that's fair. That's a that's a fair metric. That's a fair metric. Are you excited for Sonic Shadow Generations? Yes! I'm very excited. I'm very excited. We are absolutely gonna be streaming that once it comes out. Uh in October 25th, I think. Because I, I know Ace Attorney is, uh, Ace Attorney Investigations is September 6th, and we're gonna start streaming that on the 8th for, uh, SCG Voice Acts. I think Sonic Shadow Generations is October. Uh, so it'll be right, right at the tail end of, uh, Spooky Month. So, yeah, a lot, a lot of stuff coming up. A lot of, a lot of exciting things coming up that I'm really looking forward to. Thank you very much, NSM, for the gift sub, and congrats, Kid Anime! Enjoy your gift sub! Enjoy it for the month! Inotria comes out next month. Oh, uh, that's, uh... I know that name, I know that name. That's the, that's the Italian Dark Souls, right? The, the Dark, the Dark Souls-like game that, uh... It has, like, an Italian flair to it. That looks really cool! That looks really cool. Yeah, 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 with the mask swapping mechanic or whatever. Yo, that looks dope. Let me let me know how that is. Let me know how that is. That looks really neat. I'm really bad at Souls likes. Anybody who's seen me play Elden Ring knows this. Ah, no! No! Why am I getting sprayed? No! <laughs> am I getting am I getting sprayed for being bad at Souls likes? I'm sorry! <laughs> Thank you for the bad cat spray. <laughs> All right, let's get because you felt like it. Okay, well, I guess that's I guess that's a reason. <laughs> All right, I think we've you all wet. Yep. No, again? Why? <laughs> At least give me a reason. That's the wrong one. Ah! <laughs> getting soggy. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't save my game. We're not in game yet. We're not even in a game yet, but let's change that. Let's change that. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. No, 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 no! Let's get back into Paper Mario! Oh man, I have been itching to go. I've been itching to get back into this game. Playing it on our completely legitimate uh N64 that we have hooked up. <laughs> 
Thank you for the ring. Thank you, thank you. I want to play Tomodachi Life on the channel, but I have no idea who to add. Oh, man. Tomodachi Life is fun. Tomodachi Life is super fun. Uh, if you don't know who to add, I would just add, like, random... Just add random people, man. Just add random celebrities or what have you. There was uh, somebody that I was watching many, many years ago that had a, uh, a Tomodachi live stream, and he just filled his island with memes. He just made a bunch of meme characters on, uh, on, on the, the meme maker, and then just filled his island with those and just let them go to town. Or anime characters! Anime characters are also good. Uh, that's what I did when I had, when I played Tomodachi Life, I filled it with a bunch of characters from, uh, from Hitalia. <laughs> uh, and, uh, obviously some, some real life people, but, uh, yeah, just, just add, just add whoever, man, it's your island. If you want to fill it with memes and anime, go for it. <laughs> but the research! Ah, oh, come on, a little research never hurt anybody. Although I say that, I think the research is what gave me my headache earlier, but, uh... Anywho. Alright, let's do our... let's do our intro real quick, shall we? What is up, fellow geek? Super Geek Girl here! And welcome back to Paper Mario! Last time, we began our grand adventure in the Mushroom Kingdom! Uh... We, uh... It started off pretty bad, though. Uh, Bowser broke into Star Haven, stole the Star Rod, and kicked our butts. And our face. Really hard. Uh, so now we are being tasked with rescuing the Seven Star Spirits. And putting an end to Bowser's evil machinations. So, let's jump back in. Shall we? Okay, so when we last left off, this dude up here said that we had to speak to a gentleman named Merlon. Ah, and right away. <laughs> Alright, well this time I actually have it set up. So, hold on, let me pause. Let me pause the game real fast. Because we are playing this totally re we're, we're playing this totally legitimately. <laughs> uh, where'd it go? Little behind the scenes footage for y'all. <laughs> All right, I'm getting super squeak up. I'm getting super squeak up. One second. Okay, I think we're good. Squeaky, squeaky. Testing, testing. One, two, one, two. There we go. <laughs> All right. So, uh, squeaky SCG, squeaky cat girl for the next, uh, what do we want to say, 15 minutes? This will make voice acting fun. Starting it with a, starting it right away. No! I lost all my rings already! I haven't even had them, I haven't even had them for that long! <laughs> Alright, thank you. A net loss of 19 rings. <laughs> You sound even cuter with this with this cat model. No, no. <laughs> All right, fifteen minutes of a squeaky voice starting now. All right, I believe Merlon is over here. Merlon is out. I don't know how that sounds in squeaky. Why do you keep knocking? I'm telling you, he's out. Out. <laughs> Have I mentioned that I love the paper aesthetic in this game? What the? Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Wait a minute. That face seems very familiar to me. Woohoo! Oh, maybe. No. Yes, it must be! You're Mario! I've been waiting for you! You should have come earlier! Well, you're here now. Come in. Go. You were opening your door! Don't get mad at me because you don't open your door to people! Come on now! <laughs> Please excuse my horrible Italian accent. Where to begin? My name is Merlon. I am a wizard. When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important. And it concerns you. 
but before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It is a very long story, but I will try to shorten it. Now, where should I start? It was in the old days. One of my ancestors was up on Shooting Star Summit, and as usual... But one day, it happened. Suddenly, a great appeared, and I'm standing face to face. Then the far away, the pious, was raised me up. It was amazing. I was still so young that I believed, but our hearts were, and then, <laughs> Yeah, about what I figured. About what I figured. This is real. It's really funny. In uh, in Thousand Year Door, Lu uh, Luigi goes on his own little adventure, and when he tries to tell Mario about it, he falls asleep. And that's just so mean. It's so mean. Real talk, though. When are we gonna get? When are we gonna get Paper Luigi and his adventures in the Waffle Kingdom? When are we gonna get that? Nintendo, give us the game we really want. Give us Paper Luigi, please. And that is all that matters. Uh, hey! Mario! Were you listening to me? Hmm... Alright. So anyway, that is why I am able to help you. If you get lost during your adventure, you can come to me. I can predict the path you should take. For a small price. Right now, your main goal must be to save Princess Peach as quickly as humanly possible. But, according to my second sight, your path must first take you to the great fortress of the Koopa Bros. To reach the Koopa Bro fortress, head east on the road in front of the Toad House. Okay, east. And if I recall correctly... Uh, yep, these guys are still on the way. You don't want to go out there! It's way too dangerous! Going to Cooper Bros. Fortress would be a huge mistake! Definitely, definitely don't go! Most of all, though, you shouldn't go ask Old Man Merlon for help! That would really be bad news for us, I mean, for you! Don't even think about it! I wanted to do. I need to talk to you behind the thing. You sound like Envy from Full Metal Alchemist, and I'm loving it. Oh, thank you! Thank you! <laughs> mm, come again? Strange toads blocking the east side of Toad Town? This shouldn't be. That's ridiculous! Such a thing has never been heard of! Never! I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. Old man about to throw some hands! Old man about to throw some hands! Let's see this! Let's see the old man fight! Are these the strange toads you were talking about? I told you, you can't pass! Take off! <sighs> you are toads, are you? Um, we don't know what you're talking about! Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone! We're just cute ordinary toads hanging out! Reveal your true selves! Joker style. <laughs> <clears throat> Just as I thought. You're the Koopa Bros. Huh. How did you guess? Was... How'd you guess it was us, man? We were perfectly disguised. Ah, shucks. Black, yellow, green, we retreat. For 
now. <laughs> Mario, those imposters were none other than the Koopa Bros. You must pursue them to their hideout, the Koopa Bros Fortress. Oh, Mario, there's one part of your fortune I haven't revealed. To get to the Koopa Bros Fortress, you'll need help from a blue-shelled Koopa. This is a strange portent. In Koopa Village, you might find something that will clear it up. I must return home now. Goodbye. All right, we'll save real fast. And on we go! Chapter 1! Stormy Koopa Bros Fortress! Let's go! Blue shells ruining friendship since whenever Mario Kart started. <laughs> Oh, what? I didn't know if you waited long enough to start it playing! Talking flower in wonder. Hey! Speaking of power blocks, that would be useful. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Bonk! Alright, let's go ahead and knock this guy over too. I've been 
wondering, like, I'm not, I'm not a big Mario player, uh, but I've heard nothing but good things about Wonder. The only, the only problem is, like, Nintendo games are so expensive, it'll probably be a while before I get to, uh, Wonder. But I've heard, I've heard nothing but good things about it. Oh, dang it. Missed the timing on that one. Also, I'm really, I'm really curious to hear, uh, the, the new, uh, voice actors, cause, uh, Charles Martinet did not, uh, did not do, uh, Wonder. It was, uh, they got new VAs for, for, for Mario and Luigi. Kevin Afghani, thank you. I always forget his name and I feel so bad. What were you doing hanging out up there? You thought if you went flat, I couldn't see you? I love that you can, uh, he'll get hurt if I, if I attack him. So we're going to have him do nothing. Ow. Yeah, the, the, the fact that you can turn into an elephant is just one of the, oh, the animal power-ups are not new in, uh, in Mario. I mean, even back in, like, the, uh, the Super Mario 3 days, you were still transforming into, like, uh, you had the Tanuki tail, you had the frog suit, uh, Super Mario 3D Land, you had, uh, the cat suit. So turning into an elephant is, is nothing new. So, it, it's just, it's just so, it's just so goofy. Like, why, why that of, of all things? It's, it's really fun. I, I appreciate, I appreciate the goofiness of, uh, of the Mario power-ups. If I recall correctly, Charles had essentially retired from voicing Mario. But Nintendo hired him as a Mario ambassador, whatever that means. That's cool. I mean, good for him. I, I don't know, I don't know what a Mario ambassador, he goes to events promoting the Mario series. Nice, nice. Uh-oh, that's not good. I'm already, I'm already down, I'm already down to danger. Danger zone. Can I put your normal model in my Tomodachi Life Island? Uh, yeah! Go for it! I'm fine with that! Just don't make me do anything weird, okay? Actually, I know that's kind of out of your... I know that's kind of out of your control, because Tomodachi Life is a weird game, but, uh... Yeah, you're welcome to... You're welcome to do that. Just make sure you use my catchphrase, What's up, fellow geeks? <laughs> if they have enough space to put that in Tomodachi Life, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Toad Town, Koopa Bros Fortress, Koopa Village, down this way. Uh, actually, do I have any healing items? Uh, yeah, let's, uh... Oh, uh, that's not what I meant to do, but that's fine. Oh, time's up. I'll change out in just a second. Koopas like to live around Pleasant Path because there's plenty of water for them to lounge around in. Koopa Village is down this way. If you want to go to Koopa Pro's Fortress, we should take the upper path and just keep going straight. But first, we need to go to Koopa Village. Uh, but first, I need to switch off. And get back to my regular, regularly scheduled voice. <laughs> there we go. Thank you for the redeem. Thank you very much for the redeem. And thank you for the head pat. Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. It would be hard to put all the main girlfriends of 100 girlfriends into Tobodachi life. Even the unintroduced girlfriends we have yet to see. Yeah, that would... There'd be a lot of them. Is it... Ah, there it is. That's what I was looking for. Mushroom! Nom, 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 nom. Thank you. Of course, if there end up being no enemies down here and I just wasted a mushroom for nothing again, I'm gonna be really mad. Bump. Anything? No? Hey! Attack FXB badge. Oh, yeah! I remember these. They changed the, uh... What does it change this to again? 
Okay, so hang on. This is what it sounds like normally. So if we change it... It sounds like this now. Okay, it's a slide whistle. Yeah, no, that's not gonna be annoying at all. Oh. Can it be? Are you Mario? Welcome to Koopa Village! I wish we could really welcome you, but we're in big trouble. Can't you see what kind of madness is going on? This village is in an uproar because of the fuzzies! You do know what fuzzies are like, don't you, Mario? They look like this! They're just... they're just children's scribbles. That's all they are. Mean guys. They're really naughty. Oh no! Stupid fuzzy! Get back here with my show! Oh yeah. I remember. I remember this. You gotta get rid of all the fuzzies. You're too slow! <laughs> I'm trying to speak. I'm trying to do this quickly, but thank you. Oh, thank you, Mario. I knew you would. I just can't walk around without my shell on. <laughs> Talk about embarrassing. Mario, be sure to keep your shell safe from fuzzies, all right? Oops, you don't have one. Well, watch your um overalls. All right, all right, all right, all right. Get over here, you little punk. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. You know, oddly enough, this uh, this new sound effect is very appropriate for uh, for the insanity that's occurring here. Okay, got one. Gotcha. All right, and now we help these guys. Oh, woe is me! My shell's up there. What do I do? I can't reach that high. Boy, if only you had some kind of a jump man to assist you. Boing. Oh, <laughs> my hope if I actually <laughs> destroy the block first before I sound all cocky. Oh, you're the best. Thank you very much. Oh, curse those stupid fuzzies. They put my shell on the tree. How could they be so mean for no reason? That was my best shell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I could just throw something up there. Or I could do this. Oh, thanks, Mario! This shell was made to order. That's why it fits me so well. I mean, how cool do I look? You look like literally all the other guys. I see no difference, do you? Well, as long as I'm here. Okay, well, I don't actually need to do that. <laughs> Any fuzzies in here causing havoc? Nope. Just a guy. Uh, what about in here? Oh no, you just chilling! My man's just chilling over here. Supposedly, these bobobs recently ran away from the Cooper Bros Fortress. Of course, things are much better here in the village. The fuzzies are running wild. Poor little bobobs. Hmm, me? Oh, I don't leave my house. I couldn't bear it if the fuzzies made a fool of me. They'd probably take my shell and play with it. Oh, I know, I don't look cool without my shell. Nope. No, thank you. I'd rather just stay here and listen to music. Well, at least this guy has his priorities straight. Oh, hey, you guys got away from the fortress. Can you tell me anything about it? We're Bob-Ombs. We just ran away from the Koopa Bros. I don't know what this voice is for the bob -ombs. Uh, we're just going with it. We're bob -ombs. We just ran away from the Koopa Bros Fortress. We thought we'd at least find some peace here in the village. Boy, were we wrong. The fuzzies are running wild around here. All we want is a little peace. Odd, odd thing for uh, living weapons to want living peace. I mean, they, they are... they are bombs. And they want peace. They 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 want to give peace a chance. They're tired of blowing up for the uh for the wrong causes. You must listen. The Koopa Bros in the fortress work us too hard. As far as they're concerned, laborers have no rights. I will never ever go back to work in such a terrible place. Sounds like every customer service job to me. All right. 
Let's, uh, let's save... Bakunk! And I'm sure there's more chaos in the next screen over. There we go. Yep, there we go. There's more of them. Oh, you seem to be okay. You fuzzies won't beat me! Behold my power! How was that? Superpower! Wasn't it? Yeah, impressive, dude. You can run away really fast. He he's utilizing the Joe Star family technique. Get back here! Get back here! Get back here! Come on, you! Oh my God! Stop! Stop! That fuzzy took my shell. I ran after it, but it just tapped and taunted me. Is there any sort of pattern this thing goes in? Sneak! I know, I know. Sneak up, sneak up, sneak up! You just gotta sneak up, sneak up. Stop running! Stay put. Gotcha! <laughs> you just gotta do a sneak up, sneak up! Thank you! Typical Mario style! You're just as cool as I heard you were! All right, get over here, you little punk! Okay, looks like it's just the one. So if I just wait for him to come back around... That's it. That's it. God dang it. Missed him. That's all right. He'll come back around. He'll come back around. All right, this time I got him. That's it. That's it. <laughs> All right, well, I'll get him in a minute. Let's let's help this guy out. Ah, what a world! My favorite show! I just watched it! A fuzzy put it up there! How will I ever get it? Please tell me! Help somebody! Can you can you not push? Can you not push blocks? Boom. <laughs> Whenever you say sneaker, I keep thinking Sheika. <laughs> Oh, I might have known. You're so clever, Mario. I put a high-tech lock on my shell so that the fuzzies can't take it. They'll never manage to pry it off me now. <laughs> I'm not even sure I can get it off, to be honest. Ah! There's another one! No! Now there's two! Ugh! Get out of here! Freaking fuzzies! Yeah, these guys... I hate these guys. These guys are super annoying. Both in both in this game and in and in uh, Thousand Year Door, in their respective areas, they're very annoying. Yeah, come on, come on, come on! All right, all right. Just wait for it to come around. Wait for it to come around. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. All right. If I just wait here, one of them, one or both of them's got to come around this way again. All right. Three, two, one. Get! Screw it. Whatever. <laughs> They'll go away on their own, I'm sure. <laughs> Hello, Sleepy! Welcome, welcome! Uh... We have arrived in Koopa Village, and, uh, there's fuzzies running around. Uh, that's... And now you're caught up. <laughs> oh, we have a fem... We have a female type now. These fuzzies! Will their mischief never end? My husband is never here when there's trouble. My husband? Oh, his name is Colorado. You've heard of him. He claims to be a famous explorer. Who knows if it's true or not. He runs his mouth a lot. Ooh, she's shady! Shady lady. Uh, we'll save that house for, the, for later. Oh, God. It's an old man. What's the world coming to when a Koopy can't even step outside for fear of fuzzies? I've lived many, many years, and this is the first time I've seen anything like this. Careful. Careful, Grandpa. You're gonna have a heart attack. 
Okay, here we go. I need to put a, a an actual an actual voice to this guy. Who's there? I'm kind of busy right now. What? Oh wait, could it be? Aren't you Mario? Oh, you are! My name's Cooper. Oh, I am so psyched to meet you. Us meeting here has got to be like fate or something. Uh, hey, I need a huge favor. I hope you'll be able to help me out. This wild fuzzy took my show, which, next to my life, is the most important thing that I have. I can't go out without my show, period. Way too embarrassing. You're out here right now, dude. The problem is, the fuzzies are too fast for me to catch alone. So, if you don't mind, could you help me get my show back? I'm begging you! Hey, Mario! It looks like he's in a bad way. We ought to help him out! The fuzzy that took my shell is just inside my house. I'll guard the door while you grab him like... Womp. I have no idea if this is how it's supposed to sound, but it's fine. <laughs> Alright! Just, just settle down, Mr. Fuzzy. And there he goes. After him! Don't worry, we'll come back around for all this stuff. Come on, come on, come on. I put your model on my island. Yay! I let I let, let me see page seven in the Discord. I'd love to see it. Come get it if you can! Guess where I'm hiding! Oh boy. Everyone watch carefully. Watch closely now. Ha! I'm s I'm I'm good at these. You're in this one! Me huh? Not bad, chump! But that was just a warm-up! Guess where I'm hiding! Alright. You're literally ended up in the same place, dude. You got me twice? Hm, must have been luck. Now I'm serious! Guess where I'm hiding! Here goes. This one actually gets a little tricky. Uh, I think he's over in this one. Yeah, I got him. I give uncle. Here, take your stupid shell. Yay! You're too tough for me. I won't be bad anymore. I promise. Maybe. Hooray! That always... That was always a problem for me as a kid. I always missed that last one. Just moved too dang fast. But we got it this time. Anything on this stump? Nope. No stump. Mario! There you are! I realized I have to take a stand against these fuzzies. If I can't get my own shell, I'll lose my reputation! I don't even care that I have no shell on! I'm gonna show those fuzzies what's what! Uh, we already got your shell back. Ba bum <laughs> I, I love it when characters finally screw up the courage to do something and then every, the, everyone else in the cast is like, Yeah, Bran, we already got that. We already got that for you. Uh, oh. Uh, but, 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 but I was gonna have a, a big character moment and, and everything. Nah, it's cool, dude. We got it. We got it. But, 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 but. My, my character arc. Dude, nobody likes your character anyway. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm talking to Kazuichi right now? <laughs> oh, yes! That's my show, all right! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah! Got my show back! <laughs> Yippee! You're the greatest, Mario! I owe you big time! Good to hear you're happy. Say, Mario, I have an idea. 
Do you happen to know Professor Colorado? Hmm? Naturally, he's a Koopa who's a professor of archaeology. He's also known as an explorer. Right. Well, I live next door to him. I've been admiring Professor Colorado ever since I was in my egg. Nothing would make me happier than traveling the world, solving mysteries like he does. So, do you think... Could I... Please take me with you, Mario. I'll help. Come on, let me go. What do you think, Mario? Don't take. No, take him. Oh, yeah! I'm on my way! I swear, I, Cooper, will follow you anywhere, even to the ends of the earth! And a new party member! Cooper joins your party! Oh, man. These pictures are so pixelated, I can't even tell what's going on. Press whatever that is to make him throw himself and reach an item or switch in the distance. While in battle, he can attack an enemy on the ground with Shell Toss or attack all enemies on the ground with Power Shell. When you want to switch your partner, press that and select the memory you want to use. Alright, awesome! We are on our way! Off topic, did you see Zelda's outfits and Echoes of Wisdom? They're so cute. No, I haven't! Wait, 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 wait! Did they, did they release like a new trailer or something? Does she have outfits? <gasps> Do I get to play dress up with Princess Zelda now? I got to play I got to play dress up with Princess Peach. Now I get to play dress up with Zelda now? Eee! Okay, well, I know what I'm checking out after the stream. Actually, no. No, 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 no. Pause, pause, pause. We're gonna pause because I want to see this. I want to see this. Hang on. We're gonna take a quick detour. We're gonna take a quick detour because I want to see this. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. <laughs> All right, hang on, hang on. I want to see this. I want to see this. One second. You guys are getting a bonus live react. You guys are getting a bonus live react. Traversing high rule. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. I want to see this. I want to see this. I'm I'm very excited about this. Welcome to Hyrule. How long is this? Five minutes? Okay, this is fine. Princess we can take a five minute break to to see Zelda's outfits. I'm gonna put on closed captions though. Land of plentiful abundance. From the central plateau, where Hyrule Castle stands enfolded by its castle town. To the this game looks so regions. it looks like it's Animal Crossing! It looks like freaking Animal Crossing! Come on! Diverse regions. The Gerudo Desert consists yeah, of... Yeah, there we go. As the eye can see ...and is prone to frequent... No! Someone get her with the Sani! I can see. And the Gerudo Desert consists of scorching dunes Sorry. as far as the eye can see... ...and is prone She's to... She's so hot! Get her with the Sani! That's no problem for the women of the Gerudo tribe, though. Oop. There are many ruins full of mysteries. Buggos! Don't like them. And an oasis. A great place to relax. <laughs> Cute! Jabul Waters is home to some of Hyrule's most scenic waters. Jabul, that name is familiar to me. You can find the Sea Zora and the River Zora. Oh, there's two different types of Zora now! Interesting! Though they don't always get along. What could they be Cause yeah, I, I recognize the Zoras on the right, but the left guys look different. Lava flows Elden, the Elden Volcano. volcano yeah, 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 okay. Kakariko Village is nestled at the mountains. Ah, base. good old Kakariko Village. But you'll have to brave treacherous trails to reach the home of the Gorons. And Gorons! They look delicious. In Link to the Past, there were River Zoras. Okay, I hadn't played Link to the Past, so I'd never seen them before. The barren wetlands are a lush labyrinth of vegetation. Oh, look at those Octorok statues. You might come across a Deku scrub. Deku! has it, these peculiar creatures have a voracious sweet tooth. During your travels, you're likely to encounter people dealing with problems great and small. Fair. Keep track of quests by browsing your adventure log whenever you'd like. 
Helping people with their troubles is a big part of your journey. And why Ah, yes, side quests for their good deeds. She's so cute. Objects known as oh, I love a little design. Once you've All right, I'm going to have to make a Zelda plushie to go with my peach plushie, aren't I? They can they can hang out and have tea parties like they did in that in a uh, in Smash Bros. that one time. The benefit of fast travel, getting around Hyrule can prove challenging. At times like these, why <gasps> Oh my god! Look at that! It looks like a toy horse! I love it! Over small obstacles. I love it so much! It's so cute! You'll be able to call upon your trusty steed from anywhere in the overworld. Oh, and it's different ones? Wait, you can get different colored horses? As you explore, you may come across smoothie shops manned by business scrubs. Oh god. You can blend oh, Jiru. We can we can get oh, Jiru here, but so it actually tastes good. Based on the ingredients you choose. They're sure to come in <laughs> during your <laughs> So Link has campfire cooking, but you Zelda just has like freaking boba tea shops all over the place. <laughs> that is awesome. Ooh! <gasps> Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I want I want the Gerudo outfit. I want the Gerudo outfit for her. It's so cute. Or other complex locales. Creating echoes is key to success. But sometimes they may not be enough. A huge boulder like this cannot be learned as an echo, and your other echoes won't move it either. Okay. Obstacles like these Try has got you covered with the power of bind. Use it to make even a massive. <gasps> oh, okay, so they're bringing this in from Tears of the Kingdom, I think. Bind can Didn't Link have a power like this in Tears of the Kingdom? If Zelda NPC were here, she'd be able to tell me. Okay, he did. Yeah. Use bind on your echoes. That's a Gordo. That's just a Gordo from Kirby. Ways to forge ahead. Alternatively, if you want to follow a moving object yourself, you can use reverse bonds to go away. Take advantage of a creature's ability to fly. <gasps> oh, that's awesome, actually! Or to move around quickly. Oh my god, roll it around at the speed of sound! It's a great way to find clever paths forward. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And you're bound to come up with all sorts of ideas. Use bind Again, creative problem solving. I love the creative problem solving angle in Zelda games now. I love it. I love that this is the direction they're going in. Mysterious rifts are overtaking Hyrule. I also love that they're going with the classic pig Ganon design what too. That's so Zelda good. To contend with in her grand adventure to save her kingdom. There's only one way to find out. Jump into the warp star, I guess. The Legend of Zelda Echoes. Yeah. Of Available September 26th. Only on the Nintendo Switch system. So unfortunately, <gasps> it'll probably be a while before I get to this one because I am getting. We've got Ace Attorney Investigations coming out on the, uh, on the 6th, and then the rest of my budget, uh, my gaming budget is going towards Sonic Shadow Generations, uh, the month after that. But that looks awesome! That looks really cute, and I can't wait, and there, there may or may not be a Zelda plushie coming, maybe with removable outfits, I don't know. That Zelda design is way too cute for me not to do something with it. But hey, thanks for the heads up, Legit. That was awesome. All right. Back to Mario. Oh, hang on. I changed my mind, sucker! How about a fight? <laughs> okay, no, I love the little... I love that little face that he made where, where his pupils just go, like, completely white. All right. So, I do need to get Goombario out here. Not the best party member, but I do need the tattle. This is a fuzzy! Why do fuzzies always jump up and down? They need to chill out! 
Max HP 3, attack power 1, defense power 0. The problem with fuzzies is their quickness. It's really tough to time their attacks. If they latch onto you, watch out! They'll absorb your HP! Yep. I don't remember what the timing is on these things. They're in a cut. There we go! There's the timing! Bup, bup, bup! Nope, that wasn't it. Alright, well now we have a party member that can attack everybody. So, let's put him to use. Bum, 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 bum. They're in a constant state of being drunk. Now, you know what they actually remind me of? They actually remind me of, uh... Of, a uh, Sproinks. Uh-oh. This is not good. You know what? I think it's time we use an item. Bonk! And we'll leave this to you, Cooper. Bingo! They actually kind of remind me of, uh, of the Sproinks. Those Pokemon that cannot stop moving or they literally die. That's a pretty dark... That's a pretty dark entry, honestly. Yeah, Uncle, yeah! We'll be good! We'll be good! Cool. I wish I had held on to my mushroom now. All right, but first off... Uh, let's see... What is this map to again? There it is! HP plus badge! I don't have enough badge power to use that yet, but I will utilize it as soon as I can. That's right, the spoinks. There was an episode where a bunch of them stopped moving and it scared me after learning their Pokedex entry. What, really? That is... that is terrifying. Alright, uh, we need to go to a toad house real quick and rest up. Because we are not in a... we're in a bad way health-wise. Bum bum bum! Bum bum bum! Bum bum bum! Welcome to our toad house! Our slogan is, refresh your body and soul! Would you like to take a nap? Have pleasant dreams! And slide under the covers. You would be surprised at how many video game characters do not sleep under covers. How many of them, like, sleep on top of the covers because they didn't know how to render covers well. Did you sleep well? Great! Have a good adventure! Alright, and can I get a... Can I get a mushroom from the shop? Probably not. Dizzy Dial, Pow Block, Fire Flower... Oh, I can get a mushroom! Yes, give me a mushroom, please. I still have a honey syrup. And I'll get a fire flower, too. Because those are very useful. I wish I would have had one when I was fighting those fuzzies earlier, but... You know, it is what it is. Alright, so now that we have a new party member... Let's make our way to Koopa Bros Fortress. Okay, so quick question for the chat. Uh, just because I'm curious, uh, what is everybody's favorite Pokemon? No, no, no real reason, uh, no real reason. Uh, I'm just curious what everyone's faves are. We have so many people in the cat, in the chat now, I'm, I'm curious. Okay, we got a Meowth, we got a Greninja. Ah! How dare you! Try to sneak attack me like that? You punk! Wait, what was... Was something flying out of me there for a second? That's weird. My favorite is Articuno! Oh! We gonna get a legendary up in here. Articuno is great, though. I I love all three of the, uh, the legendary, uh, burbs. Oh my god, I just had a really... Okay, no, I just had a really cute idea for a plushie. What if I made, like, round burbs, but made them to look like the legendary birds? Like a round Articuno, a round Zapdos, and a round Moltres. Oh my god, that'd be so adorable, right? 
Sleepy, you might have just given me an idea for, uh, for a plushie. I, I, I have, I have ideas. I have ideas now. By the way, speaking of plushies, uh, I did finish another, uh, another outfit for my, uh, Princess Peach Showtime plushie. I've got the mermaid outfit done. I still need, well, I say done. I need to do her pearl necklace, but I have it 90% done. And it looks fantastic. Uh, there are pictures of it up on the Discord server for anybody who wants to check it out. No entry allowed, Mario. Yours truly, the Koopa Bros. Well, that side's not gonna stop me, because I can't read! <laughs> uh, I am going to... Cooper? Uh, Cooper? Hey, there it is. There we go. I do have a... I do have a, a pattern for a little plushy round phoenix. Uh, so I could easily adapt that into the legendary birds. All right. Oh, but I don't have enough space! Uh, we'll lose one of the sleepy sheeps. Hmm. Gee, I wonder how to get past this. Thanks, Cooper! It takes a little xylophony noise, eh? Excuse me. You're a new type, so we need to get Goombario out here. Oh. Oh well, that's fine. Well, knocked his wings off. At least I got one of them. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? Paratroopa, let's go. This is a paratroopa. No surprise here. Paratroopers are Koopa Troopas with wings. 411. When you jump on them or use a pow block, their wings fall off and they become normal Koopa Troopas. It's easy to beat them once they're normal Koopa Troopas. Give them another jump attack! They think they're pretty cool because they wear sunglasses, but they're not that tough. Thank you, Goombario! Bonk! Ow! That's fine. Yeah, whenever, whenever Mario, I don't know if it's because of the badge that I have equipped, but whenever Mario attacks, there's like little, uh, little doodobbers that fly off somewhere. Did y'all see that? Watch, watch, watch. Watch closely. There's like little confettis! He gets like a, a confetti move! That's gotta be because of the badge that I have equipped, right? That's so cute. I... I've played this game for years, and I never noticed that until now. Don't you just love it when you can play and go back to a game that you think you know inside and out, and it still surprises you? I love that feeling. It's so good. All right. Da -da 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 oh, there's a lot of you. There's a lot of you. Cooper? I think we need your power shell here, buddy boy. Yeah, j j just stay down, bro. Stay down. Stay down. It'll all be over soon. <laughs> boy, that's dark. Ugh, come on. I'm, I'm so close to another level up. And then I can get more health. Mushroom, gimme, gimme, gimme. Ah! These are all pretty good. Uh, fright jar. In my experience, the fright jar doesn't really work all that well. Excuse me. Hard to get a first strike on these. Oh! Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Cooper, buddy, help me out here. Oh, 
Yeah, I do not I do not want those those spike goombas to to come up in here and ruin my day. We're definitely going to get a level up after this. Yay! All right. And with this, boom. Level up, baby. All right. We did the FP last time. We're going HP this time. And then we're doing BP next time. That's the order. It's FP, HP, BP. That's how we do it. Can't do anything about this. Yet. Too bad. Good to know that's there, but I don't need it right now. Oh, I remember the music here. I remember this being weirdly tense music for the first chapter of the game. It's weirdly sinister. It, all, it, it used to freak me out as a kid. Oop. Whoa! Mario! What the? Oh, we're in a world of hurt! Mario's here already! I gotta tell the leader! Red Koopa! Something tells me we're not welcome here. Oh well, never stopped me before. All right, I remember this being kind of a pain in the butt. Not as much as other levels, but... Ah! We have another new enemy type. Goombario, tell us what's what, buddy. This is a bob -omb. bob -ombs are pretty temperamental. And they can get steaming mad when you attack them. Max HP 3, attack power 1, defense power 0. You better not jump on them when they're angry, or they'll blow up in your face. In fact, stay away entirely. Attack them from a distance with items like hammers, or you can send in other things, like shells. If they attack when angry, they'll charge in and explode. So you better take care of them before they blow. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the heads up. That is another reason that I do the, uh... That is another reason that I do the, uh, the, the tattle logs. It does give you... Sometimes gives you good advice on how to handle particularly troublesome, uh, enemies. Yeah, because if I, if I were to go in and attack him now... But luckily, I already... Luckily, the battle was over, but that would have, uh... That would have taken out Goombario for, uh, a couple of turns. That is one thing that annoys me. In Paper Mario, uh... Your partners, if they get injured, are just out for, like, several turns. Whereas in Thousand Year Door, they have their own health bars, which are... Which is a much better deal. I was very happy when, uh when they had their own health bars. Because I was terrified of my party members getting hurt. Alright, let's, uh... Let's switch to Cooper. Ba-bonk! Ba-bonk! So if I think if I attack it... Yeah, if I attack it from there, it's okay. This may not be okay, though. I'm not going to finish him off in one move. Okay, well, it only does two damage, so that's okay. I thought it did, like, five damage or something. Replace Fire Flower with Fire Flower. Sure, why not? Or I can just use an item right now and uh, save myself the trouble. Easy. Now, if I did this right, it should still be... Ah, I missed it! Oh, well. I just wasn't 
really quick enough. <laughs> Let's see the great Mario get any farther now. Yeet! Mario! You, uh, don't try any... T and you'll still never find your way through this fortress. Uh, looks like there might be some fighting here. <laughs> How exciting! See ya! All right, we got this. We got this. This is fine. This is fine! Not saying that we're gonna complete the chapter tonight, but I will, uh, give it my best. We're actually making pretty good time, all things considered. Considering that I'm voice acting everything. Uh, let's see... Going with your best TMNT impersonation for the Koopa Bros? Ja, bro, you know it. <laughs> am I doing it right? Am I am I doing it right? You know, actually, I I wish that I wish that Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles got more got more love than it did because oh my gosh, the acting on that was so good. Everything about that show was fantastic, and I I wish they would have done more with it. final fight with Shredder was one of the coolest animated things that I had ever seen in a hot minute. And the fact that freaking April! April got in on it too! She got in on it and got to have powers like, like, like the turtles! It was awesome! Give me more rise of the, Muni of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, please. Hello, Tyrant! Welcome, welcome! Thank you so much for tuning in! What is your question? I will, uh, I will try to give you an answer. Ba-boom! Alright, I saw that guy scuttle out from behind somewhere, so... I am also going to scuttle. Power bounce! That's actually, actually, I think that's a really good one. We'll get, we were absolutely going to equip that. Because I think that's the one that allows me to, uh... Jump multiple times on an enemy? Or is that multi-bounce that I'm thinking of? Well, there's only one way to find out! Okay, yes, it is, it is, it is! It is the one I was thinking of. If someone ordered a cameo and requests you to do a voice message, will you record it in person or with your 2D model? That is an interesting question. Uh, first off, yes, I am on cameo. Uh, I actually just got that set up today. I'm surprised you found it so quickly. <laughs> I haven't even done my intro video yet. Uh, but yes, I am on cameo. And that would be up to you if you wanted if you wanted it as the model or as, uh... Actually, I think I have to do it in real life, uh, because of the way the cameo is set up. I can't do it from the model. I have to do it from the app, which is connected to my phone. Uh, and I don't have my VTuber on my phone. Uh, or maybe I do. Um, you know what? I will do some research and I will get back to you on that, Tyrant. Uh, but yes, for anyone who is interested, I am now on cameo. Uh, so if you want me to record a birthday wish, or a congratulatory wish, or, uh, any sort of personalized message... Uh, look me up by my real name. Look me up by my real name and request a cameo from me. I would- I would love to give you guys some, uh, personalized messages. Uh, I will post a link to all of that, uh, tomorrow once I- I, I need to do my intro video before everything goes, like, super live and official, but, uh... Oh, no! Oh, no! That's actually not good. But yeah, if you guys want me to do uh, cameos, hit me up. I would be happy to do it. Uh-oh. This is gonna... This is gonna be a pain... This was a painful decision! This was a painful decision! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> That was a bad move. 
move. That was a really bad move on my part. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. We 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 need to we need to heal after that. We need to heal after that. Mushroom, please. <laughs> I probably should take a honey syrup while I'm at it. <sighs> Luckily, after this chapter, I'll be able to make items that can heal both. But for now, that's all we've got. <gasps> yummy, yummy, yummy. I got mushroom and honey in my tummy. Actually, honey and mushroom sounds absolutely vile. That's an absolutely vile combination, but... whatever. I'm sure there's some crazy person who's done video game recipes that knows how to make honey mushrooms taste good. Actually, I think there is a mushroom called the honey mushroom, right? Hmm. I don't know if it tastes at all like honey, but I, I've, I've heard that that's a, that's a thing that exists. Okay, so which way do we go? Do we go... Let's go through the doors first. Let's see where that leads us. Oh, okay. Mushrooms are kind of neat, though. Uh, there's a... There's a goofy little YouTube video... ...from, a, from an animator called Ginger Pale. He did a video all about mushrooms, and it's... One of the... It's one of the weirdest and... Char most charming videos I've ever seen. Ah, we got a boss gauntlet. I'm glad I healed up. <gasps> yeah, yeah, that's what I was referring to. The, the honey fungus. There's also, uh... I don't know, like... It I know a little bit about mushrooms, uh, because for one of the... For a DD, or sorry, Call of Cthulhu character that I played as a while ago... Uh, I made one of her character quirks be that she's really into mushrooms because I thought that would be funny. So I actually went to the trouble of learning a bunch of different types of mushrooms. Uh, just in case that came up in gameplay. So I learned about the, uh, the zombie mushroom that attaches itself to certain ants and turns them into zombies. Uh, I learned about chicken of the woods. Uh, I learned about the honey mushroom. Uh... The, uh, the old man bearded mushrooms. Just all these goofy mushrooms that I could find, and I just learned all I could about them. Just in case... Just in case someone brought it up in gameplay, even though it was a one-shot campaign. That's how much... That's how much depth I go into when I create a character for, uh, for a role-playing game. I should bring her back. She was fun. She was fun to play as. She, she terrified the entire table. She terrified the entire table. Because I, uh... I basically kidnapped one of the party members at the end of the campaign so that I could, uh... Research them, because they were turning into a fish person, and that was the reason that my character was there, was to research the fish people. So I ended up kidnapping one of my party members at the end of the campaign. <laughs> uh, it was it was fun to play an unhinged psychopath. Villains are always so much more fun to play as than, than heroes. If I was the keeper of that Cthulhu campaign, I would somehow use your character's mushroom fascination against her. If it was for longer than a one-shot, I'm pretty sure that my DM would have done the same thing. My DM would have done the same thing. Use that against me. That's what a good DM does, I think. Is, uh, if you give... If you give your DM something to, uh, to... Even if it's just, like, silly flavor text... They will try to use it against you. Which is the mark of a good DM. They give you... A, a, if, you if your players give you something like that to work with, you damn well better use it. I don't know if I used anything... Oh, actually, I did! I did use that. Uh, I used that against one of my players uh, when I was a DM. So when I was running, uh, when I was running Wild Beyond the Witchlight, uh, one of my characters, uh, made mention that they had lost a childhood friend of theirs. Uh, that was the whole reason they went to the carnival, was to, uh, find, find their friend, because that was the last place that they were seen. So I made them go through this big adventure in the Feywild, and then finally they found their friend, but by the time they had found them, 
The friend had been turned into a marionette by one of the evil hags. So, yeah, I got to inflict some emotional damage on, uh, on my players. Of course, of course, we, we turned the, they turned the, 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 the friend back to normal at the end because... Happy endings only for my campaigns. The real world is depressing enough. At, at least in fantasy, we can escape and have happy endings whenever we want. Oh, Lord! Okay, gotta time this. Gotta time this. Womp. Go, 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 go! Wow, Cooper, you are tough! Time it. Time it. Go, 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 go! Yay! Key! Didn't time it, didn't time it, didn't time it that time. Didn't time it that time. Didn't time it that time. Also, is it just me or was it moving faster? Was it moving faster after I picked up the key or am I going crazy? It's entirely possible that I'm going crazy. Cooper trained to become an adventurer. So what? That means he just gets a fire resistant shell by default? That's some pretty hardcore, uh, that's some pretty hardcore training. Okay, this is perfect, I think. Whoa! Looks like Mario's here! Okay, here we go. I remember this. First off, let's go through here. Because save point! Gimme, gimme, gimme. Thank you. And now back to the scary musics. Well, I mean, we know that's a trap up ahead, so it's not like we're just gonna just gonna walk up and hit it. I mean, we we know what's gonna happen, right? Right? I mean, we're we're not we're not stupid enough to to just jump under and hit this thing. So obviously, we're gonna ow. <laughs> Come on! Are you kidding me with that? <laughs> Here I was all smug about how, ha ha, game, I'm not gonna fall for your stupid little trick, and then I... What do I do? I immediately bumble my way into it. <laughs> oh my god, alright. We'll just do a single jump here, because... I know what's gonna happen when I hit these guys. We're just gonna take them out one at a time. Bonk! Bonk! You know, I gotta wonder what that hat is made of. To resist attacks like that? Kwabum! Cthulhu is a horror game. Corrupting those character quirks would be essential for a DM. I would like to give Call of Cthulhu another shot. We only did that one time for the, uh... For, for, ha for a Halloween one-shot. But I would love to give it a... I would love to give it a try as, like, a full-blown campaign. I don't know if I would run it, but... It's locked. Hmm... Welp. Shall we? Wow! Ah! <laughs> I forgot that you just float gently down. You can't. You use feather fall. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Loser serves you right. You fell for it. Chunk! Chunk! Oh! What was that? Where did that fall from? Oh, I wondered what just fell, but... Aren't you... Mario? 
I never in a million years thought I'd meet such a famous guy in a place like this! Who? Me? My name's Bombette. In case you haven't noticed, I'm a Babam. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> and now we now we meet Best Girl in the game. Best girl. Best girl. Best girl has arrived. <sighs> Have you seen the new VTuber anime? Not yet, but I want to. I really want to check that out. Uh it lo it looks it looks great from what I've seen of it so far, but I would I would love to check out check it out. Uh again, add it to the queue of things uh SCG promises she'll see at some point. <laughs> add an extra ponytail and she'll look like Carne. Oh Okay. Y'all want the Carne voice for her, huh? Alright. I can do that. I can do that. Let's talk to everybody else first though. I'm sorry. I simply will not obey tyrants anymore! Those Koopa Bros can't squash the pride of a bubble. So, I'm using all my energy to think of a way to break out of here. Mm, the angles, vectors... Mm, it's so complicated, my head is going to explode! I don't know what these freaking accents are, but we're going with them. All of us bubbles got locked in here by the Koopa Bros. Nothing we could do about it. The Koopa Bros used to be cool. But they got conceited because Cammy Koopa likes them. Before, they were just typical young guys from Koopa Village. They were nice enough. I think maybe the desire for adventure corrupted them. You hear that, Cooper? That's a cautionary tale right there. Oh, how long do we have to be locked up here? I am losing hope. And I'm so hungry. So sad. And mad. And angry. I am feeling with rage. I'm really angry now! I want out! Out! Right now! Do you hear me, Koopas? Hey, settle down, buddy. Those stinking Koopa Bros work us right too hard. They were making us work for 25 hours a day! Unreal! Nobody's life should be all work, right? I need free time to make my mark in the world! Boom! Yeah, customer service. That's all this is. It's just... It, it, they're, they're, they're just working in customer service. It's in retail. All right, let's talk to you again. What's that? Why am I locked up here? Because I'm a menace. At least to these guys. <laughs> those uncouth Koopa bros. I was just one of the many bob working here. But those Koopa bros, once they took... Once Bowser took over, they started working us into the ground. I couldn't take it anymore. So I exploded right next to him. Yeah, that was a mistake. The Koopa Bros didn't like it, so they locked me in here. And then they locked up the rest of the bob because they thought they might rise up. You know, a bob rebellion. What do you think about that? Oh, sorry. It's a long story, I know. Anyway, Mario, we want to get out of here. Do you think you can help spring us from this place or what? Pretty please? If you help us... I promise I'll return the favor. Of course we're gonna help best girl. Oh, how nice. We'll be good friends from now on. I can feel it. We'll make a super team, Mario. Bombette has joined the party! Two new party members in one night. That's not bad. Press down to make Bombette walk for a short time and then explode. Oh god, it really is Karine. She can destroy cracked walls or rocks and activate switches. While in battle, she can attack an enemy on the ground with her body slam ability or damage ground... Damage enemies on the ground with her bomb attack. Now, let's think of a way out of here. Oh, gee, I almost forgot! I haven't even told you about what I can do! <laughs> Silly me. My specialty is exploding. Check this out. See? If there are any cracks in the wall, I can probably break it. Let me try this one. Take cover! She's gonna blow! See that? See what I bring to the party, Mario? Huh? Oh, an escape route! I guess 
I never thought about doing that before. I was so mad, I just blew up over and over in one place. <laughs> okay, that was a that was a little silly. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, we can get out now, right? And so can everyone else. Thanks, Mario. From now on, I'll tag along and help out wherever I can. You just ask, and I'll be there for you. Now, enough chit chat. I have a little score to settle with those Koopa Bros. None of the other ball bombs were smart enough to do so? Clearly not. What's y'all's excuse? Don't worry about us, Mario. We'll find a way out. That's the problem. All of the ball bombs in this cell. All the ball bombs in this cell share one collective brain cell. And right now, Bob Bomb has it, and she's taking it with her. That's what the problem is here. <laughs> all right, off we go. Uh-oh. What's all this noise? In case you Bob Bombs forgot, exploding is prohibited inside the fortress, and can't accept in the case of an emergency. What the... Mario, what are you doing here? Nothing good, I bet. Everyone, get him! Okay, Karine, Bob Bomb, time to prove your worth. Let's see what you can do. Well, she's got the carapult maneuver. She's got the carapult. Let's see what happens if she blows up. Go, 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 Wow! Big damage! Big damage! You'll love to see it! I think out of all the... I think out of all of the uh, characters, Bombette was the one that I used the most often. Simply because of the blow up. The blow up and the glow up. <laughs> and look at her, she's so cute! She's pink and she got a little she got little fairy wings and she, she's so adorable. I mean look at this. Look at this. How can you not carry this around with you for the entire game? Look at her go. What a good girl. Alright, now if I recall correctly. There was something back here, I think, that could be blowed up. No, never mind. It wasn't back here. That was the fire bar. Uh, it was the other way. Gosh, she's so cute! I forgot how good Bombette was! She can't navigate stairs all that well, but that's fine. All right, I think it was back out this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should let Rainbow know. She's getting a Switch. Her kid might like this game. Yeah, please do. It's a wonderful retro game. Can I throw you up here? No, I can't. But I think I can... Okay, no, that's all the way to the start. We will take care of that later. I'm... Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of the other... The other Bob Bomb character from the other game that you get, like, way later than you should in, in Thousand Year Door. I'm thinking of, uh, Bobbery. Bombette is a slightly different, uh... Character. Uh, we were actually just discussing, uh, VTube Legend and how I haven't actually seen it yet. Alright, now this is where it was. This is where it was. We can get in from here. And we got... Refund! Refund some coins if you use items in battle. Too bad I don't use items, but uh, that's good to know that I have that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm 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 very much looking forward to checking it out. But I haven't actually had the chance to yet. It's really hard for me to find time to uh to sit back and watch anime. Especially especially these days. It was a lot easier for me back when I was in college, but these days it's just getting tougher and tougher to find the time. And someone pointed out, uh, there's like so much... There's just so much stuff out these days. There's so much... There's so many new series and everything coming out these days that it's like impossible to keep up with everything. I was hoping the anime features VAs that are originally VTubers. Um... That would be cool. I don't know if, uh... I don't know if any of the cast members are actually, uh, VTubers. I don't remember who the cast members are off the top of my head. Hayden is? Okay. Oh, that's right! Hayden is, uh, Sayu's, uh... Sayu's partner, right? I'm thinking of the- I'm thinking of the correct person, right? Yeah, they're- they're definitely a VTuber then. Beep, beep, beep. Gotcha! <gasps> voice acting question. You don't see a preview of an anime scene with a character you voice to match the lip flaps. Uh, I do, actually. Uh, so the way that it works, uh, at least at Crunchyroll, uh, the way that it works is, uh... Hang on one second. Ah, I didn't do it. I didn't do it quick enough. So the way it works at Crunchyroll is you can uh they show the scene to you in Japanese first so that you get a feel for a the lip flaps and two uh you get a feel for uh the intensity, the emotion, the delivery, all that stuff. And then from there, you uh from there you try to match the lip flaps after you've seen the preview of it. And yeah, that totally counts. That totally counts as uh as the preview. We watch it in Japanese first and then we then we do the English version and try to match it up. And in fact, one of the one of the ish, one of the uh difficulties that I have and this is just purely my... This is just purely me talking. Uh, I don't know if other VAs run into this problem. My problem is I talk too fast. And so... 90% of the time, when I'm asked to redo a scene, it's because I was talking way too fast and they couldn't slow me down enough... Uh, to match up to the character's, uh, lip flaps. The, uh, the... The audio engineers can sometimes, uh, work their magic and s either stretch or squeeze out... Or s they can either squeeze in or stretch out a, uh, a line to make it fit in the lip flaps with some sort of crazy audio engineer wizardry that is amazing, and I don't know how it works. Uh, but sometimes I go too fast and I have to redo it because they, they can't... It, they stretch it out so much that it becomes kind of distorted and then I have to redo it. Uh, not the audio engineer's fault at all. They- audio engineers do great work. Everyone respect your engineers because they are- They are angels and we could not do this job without them. Uh, but yeah, the difficulty that I run into is my pacing and also keeping my voice somewhat consistent throughout my performances. But those are just some of the personal difficulties that I run into. Uh, every voice actor has, a uh, has their own, uh, thing that they struggle with. Some talk too- some talk too slowly, some talk too, uh, quickly, like I do. It just really depends on who you ask. But there you go, there's a little, uh, a little insight into, uh, what- what it's like in the booth. For- for me, and for, uh... For other folks working at Crunchy. Hayden voices the main character. Yeah, I I remember now. I remember now. Good for them. I'm really happy for them. And I know that Sayu's really proud of them too. Like, he was bragging on them so much when the when the initial announcement came out. It was really cute to see. You gotta love VAs who are supportive of their partners. 
and vice versa of partners who are supportive of their VAs. I made a post about this, uh... I made a post about this earlier, uh... Last week, I think? Uh, but in... When it comes to, like, VTubers and content creators and stuff like that, there are some who will actively hide their marital status. Like, they will give off the impression that they are single... Uh, and available... Just so that they'll get more views. And there's something, like, so dishonest about that that I don't like. I have never made it a secret that I'm in a, that I'm married. I've been happily married for eight years now. And my husband is one of the biggest supporters of my voice acting, of my streaming. So, like, why would I hide that? He's been nothing but supportive of me during this whole little endeavor. This, e even though it's been a little hard on us uh, at times. It's, uh... I I'm not gonna hide that. I'm not gonna hide that. I'm I'm happily married and proud of it. I saw a moment in Sayu's Persona 3 Reload where Hayden was crying tears of joy for being really proud of him. Oh, that's so sweet! That is so sweet. I I love that. The one, the the one, the bit, the bit with Hayden inside you that I really like is uh, there was a there was a a, a a con that they were at and somebody made a really really rude comment to Sayu and Hayden just went off on them. I think there there was a there was a short of that that they posted that was really really funny. Like the the way that they the way that they said it just like tickled me so much. It was like, tell the story so I can go off or how however they said it. But it, the the delivery of that was so funny to me. I I love I love a fiercely protective partner. That's that's so good. Yeah, it's on the, it's on his it's on his YouTube channel. That's where I that's where I found it from. So, oh wait, are you talking about the uh, the are you talking about the sweet one or the fiercely protective one? Because the fiercely protective one, is, I I know I've seen in his shorts. Uh oh, uh I know what's coming next, and it's gonna be a problem. So, hang on a minute. Okay, yeah, the sweet one, the sweet one. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to that goom nut. I'm gonna hold on to that for, uh, other reasons. If? Well, 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 Mario! I wouldn't bet you'd make it this far! Pfft, don't get smug, pal! You just caught us off guard! Trust me, we'll mop the floor with you if we get serious. We're as cool as they come. Yeah, boys! Open fire! Bullet bills incoming! Uh, first, Bombette, take care of this, please. Maple syrup! Canada, represent! Alright. I remember these guys are kind of a pain to dodge. Uh. Ah, yeah, there we go. Alright, well, since I got bullet bills out here, might as well, uh, get a tattle on them. This is a bullet bill, a kamikaze attacker. If you don't beat bullet bills quickly, they slam into you and explode. Matt takes me two, attack power two, defense power zero. I'm serious, Mario. These guys will really make us pay if they manage to hit us. We have to beat them before they get the chance to strike us. Ow. Ow. Thanks, Goombario. You're the literally the worst person for this job, but... Get Bombette back out here. Uh, 
Get a quick top off here. All right! That works. I'll take extra HP, or XP. Why not? Uh, yeah, just to, yeah, just to uh, verify, uh, Hayden uses they, them pronouns. All right. And now we got to deal with the Bullet Bill blasters. So, again, let's get Gumbario out here because we're not going to get a chance to encounter these guys again. This is a Bill Blaster. Bill Blasters are the cannons that shoot out Bullet Bills. Match HP 4, attack power 0, defense power 1. They won't attack us directly, but they'll keep shooting out Bullet Bills as long as they can. It's efficient to attack them all at once. But you can also beat them one at a time. Yeah, because they do this nonsense. Cooper? Leaving to see you, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah! Free XP, baby! Uh, what was the... I think I gotta use the hammer. Yeah, because they have a... I was gonna use the power bounce, but I'm like, that's not gonna work. They have a... They have a pretty high defense. Alright, let's use power shell again. Because, yeah, free XP! Hey, if I'm lucky, maybe I'll get a... Get a level up before we, uh... Totally take on the boss here in a second. All right, one more. One more, and I think... One more and we got it. Yeah, this is not a problem. And... Cooper, finish him off, buddy! Ba-boom! And level up, baby! All right, BP it is! Coins, 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 coins. Gimme, 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 gimme. Health, 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 health. Gimme, 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 gimme. Save point, save point. Gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> Just gimme all the things. Actually, are there any are there any useful badges we can equip before this? Now that we have more I could put on the HP plus and give me just give me plus uh plus five HP. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Excellent. That will help us out. All right. Who's ready for a boss fight? Let's do it. You guys ready? Hey, Black, what are you doing? Hurry, man. Shake a leg. Ow, my shell. Get it off. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wow! Ow, oh, for the love of... What are you doing, Yellow? That doesn't look cool at all. Okay, hang on. Okay, I'm ready, Red. Finally, let's do this. And remember to look cool, guys. Yeah! Oh, boy. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Mario! <laughs> the strongest and the coolest! Behold the glory that is the great evil King Bowser! It's time for me to beat these foolish ideas out of you! Saving Peach, please! Watch this and weep! Wow, impressive. You're going down, punk! All right, let's do it. Blow him up, blow him up, blow him up, blow him up, blow him up! Beautiful. <laughs> I am invincible! You're already smoking. 
You are powerless before me! How about you meet the business end of my hammer? Or even better, the business end of Bobette! Oh no! That costume was perfect! Bowser loved it! And now the real fight begins. Here come the Koopa Bros! What? Okay, Mario! Have a taste of this! The Koopa Bros Special Super Spin and Attack! Ow! Alright, this is fine. Tattling everything in this fight. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about the, the boss fight tattling. Um, I think there's actually a place I can get the uh, boss logs. So I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Oh, that's right, I gotta blow it up first, don't I? Alright, let's, uh... Oh, hey! Guess what I've got! Every Koopa's worst nightmare! Ba-boom! All right, let's get him again! You keeping Bombette as the main member is like me keeping Vivian as the main member in Thousand Year Door. Because Vivian is the best party member, hands down, next to Bobbery. All right, we got these guys. Yellow? You're out, buddy! Still got black and red, though. Alright, we got this. We got this. Just knock him over. As far as a boss fight, this one is pretty dang easy. Yeah, I was the same way. Vivian was always a constant member of my party. Uh, well after I recruited her in the, uh, in the place. Twilight Town, that was the place. Yeah! 32 star points, baby! Whoa! Hey! Hello! Somebody let us out of here! Oh look, there's a little scribble of Princess Peach inside the thing. That's so cute. And with that... Our first star spirit. End of chapter! And so, Mario and friends beat the Koopa Bros at their fortress and rescued the first star spirit. Still, six star spirits remain imprisoned, and they must save them as quickly as they can. The future of the Mushroom Kingdom, Star Haven, and of course, Princess Peach.
lies in the hands of Mario and his new friends. Their adventure has just begun. All right! So that wraps up the chapter, but we're not quite done yet! Because... There is an interlude! Uh, yes, I am familiar with Cassie, a.k.a. Nano from 100 Girlfriends. Uh... We... If she is still streaming when we're done here, we may go and raid her and pop in and say hi. Oh, I wonder what Mario is doing right now. I wonder if he's hurt. I'm so worried about him. He'll be alright, princess. Why, I bet he's saving some star spirits right now. Yes, you're right, Twink. I must be strong. I need to concentrate on finding a way out of here. But there are tons of guards just beyond your door. And it's impossible for you to escape through the window. Oh, wait a minute. I remember the minister telling me there was a secret passage out of this room. Twink, help me look for it. Cool, great idea. Yes, we can play as Princess Peach. And if I remember, there's some funny flavor text in, in some of these areas. Beautiful flowers, aren't they? They smell so good. Sure, I guess. This is no time to sleep. Yes, let's keep looking. I actually don't quite remember where it's at. Ah, she has a little, little powdered face. It's so cute. So many dresses, and yet they all look exactly the same. They're not the same. The designs are all slightly different and very fashionable. Whatever you say, princess. Oh, a photo of Mario. Oh, don't look at that. Aw, how cute. The fireplace, quite nice. So big and so warm. Hmm, a warm fireplace? Don't you find that suspicious? Do you really think so, Twink? It is suspicious, because look what's next to it! Oh, look! There's something behind the drawing! Wait. Yes! Cool! Now we can get out of this room! And away we go! Where is this taking us? Where are we? Let's find out. Hey, look at this. It looks like somebody left a private diary just lying around. Should we read it? Only a little bit. Ooh, you like doing this sort of thing, don't ya? Okay, then. Very quietly. Let's see. Day, month, sunny. Today I went to Star Haven and stole the Star Rod. Now I'm invincible. Cool. I also captured those seven star spirits so they won't annoy me anymore. It was a hard day's work and I'm feeling pretty bushed. Dinner was nice, but a bit bland. I feel like... I might know the person who wrote this. Gee, I wonder who it could be. Okay, let's continue. Day, month, cloudy, then sunny. Today was great, Diary. I used my castle to lift Princess Peach's castle way up into the sky. Then I barged into Peach's castle and beat up Mario. Yeah, unbelievable, I know. So fun! And there's more! After that, I kidnapped Princess Peach! I couldn't be happier, Diary! I hope she likes me. <gasps> Princess Peach! This is Bowser's Diary! Ugh! 
will we do? Should we read more? Keep reading! Intel! This is valuable enemy intel! Well, the Koopa Bros got beaten by Mario Diary. He even set free that stupid star spirit I kept there. I'm so mad I can barely write. Oh, I'm Mario. I'm so big and strong and good and helpful. I hate him. But I'm not worried. There's no way that Mario can save the star spirit being held in dry, dry ruins. To do that, he'd have to solve the mystery of the sands. And then find dry, dry ruin in dry, dry desert. How would he even know to go to the desert anyway? So I'm not worried at all. In fact, I'm so calm, I'm gonna go to bed now. Ah! Dry, dry ruins in the middle of dry, dry desert! One of the revered star spirits is being held there! Twink, do you think you can go find Mario and tell him that? Yes, of course, Princess Peach! I'll find Mario right away! Hmm? Busted! Oh no! I can't believe I left my secret diary lying out! It would be so embarrassing if someone read that thing. Why did you duck under the desk, ma'am? What? What's the princess doing here? You little snake! You read my diary! King Bowser, is there a problem? You're the worst guards ever! Take Princess Peach back to her room immediately! Yes, sir. Straight away, sir. Forgive us, sir. No! Put me down! Surprisingly, he doesn't see the Star Kid flying around, but I guess that works out in our favor. <laughs> Just imagine if Peach writes... Imagine if Pete's right in, in Bowser's diary. No, I don't like you. Piss off. <laughs> Would you rather eat a baby? Ah, you're not going to get me with that again, red car. You're not going to get me again with that. You would be a good Peach voice. Plus, Beatrice almost looks like a teen version of Peach. Yeah, a little bit. Her hair's not quite the right color, but yeah, yeah. Also, thank you. I, I, I'm quite, I quite enjoy doing the Peach voice. It's quite fun. Mario, I believe you'll save us all. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate all you've done. Thank you. Since you have freed me from my prison, the seal on my power is broken, and I will recover it little by little. As long as an ounce of power remains in me, I shall help you. Uh, Beatrice is Beatrice Von Bozen, the character that I played in saving 80,000 gold in another world for my retirement. She is a delightful little heiress with a lot of, uh, talent. Mario can now use star spirit power in battle! Using a star power requires star energy. Would you like to listen while I tell you how to use star powers and star energy? Only because I need a refresher. Allow me to explain. Now, Mario, this is your gauge for star energy. See? You can check to see how much star energy you have. See how there's a star on the right side of the gauge? Each star marks one unit of star energy. So, you have one unit now. Okay, fair enough. Next, allow me to explain about star powers. First, let me tell you about Refresh. This power enables you to restore 5 points of both HP and FP at once. Why don't you try out Refresh right now? Refresh! Yay! Thanks, Eldstar! You see, both HP and FP have recovered 5 points each. You used one unit of star energy, so you're empty now. Watch your star energy gauge carefully during battle. Usually, your partner's turn would come next, and then it would be your enemy's turn. 
But we're just practicing now, so let's assume it's Mario's turn again. Okay, it's Mario's turn. Now pay attention to the storm energy gauge. Did you notice that the amount of star energy increased a little bit? Star energy increases little by little every time it comes around to Mario's turn. Remember this, because it'll become very important. Next, I'm going to teach you about another star power, Focus. Focus is a star power that enables you to increase star energy a little more than usual during a turn. Right now, your star energy is almost empty, even though you're slowly refilling it. Alright, try the star power Focus now. I prefer- I prefer how you re I prefer how you did it in the, the other one. It was a peel, where you were just waving to the audience. And that- that refueled your star energy. It was really cute. Did you notice how much the star energy increased? Focus helps you increase your star energy much more quickly. You should also remember that you can replenish your star energy by taking a nap at the Toad House. Well, that wraps up my explanation. I earnestly wish that you'll make good use of these star powers during battle. I didn't know Cassie was a streamer, but I do know she's a cat lover like me. Yeah, she posts a lot of pictures. She posts a lot of stuff about her cat. Her cat is adorable. Mario, listen carefully. You must save the other star spirits quickly. If the seven of us come together, we'll be able to bestow upon you a star power called the Star Beam. The Star Beam is the only thing that can counteract the star rod that Bowser wields. I have to go back now. Back to Star Haven. I must leave immediately, but I'll always be watching you. Save us all, Mario! Every breath you take, every move you make, I'll be watching you. I hate that song, actually. I hate that song so much. It is such a freaking stalkerish song. It's so awful. Anyway. All right. So, with that, we have completed chapter one. We are going to make our way back to Toe Town, and then once we get back to Toe Town, we'll call it there. Uh, we do need to go back to Koopa Village real fast. My vocals are good. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. But first... Secrets. The FB Plus Badge! Basically, free level up. Womp. I knew that there was a little explodey doodobber. Hello! I know where I know where you are now. Uh yeah, we're going to switch out to Cooper. I've been wanting to do like song covers for a while, but I just haven't had the uh the setup. I need to uh, I need to adjust my mics to uh to uh get that right. But I do want to do song covers eventually. That being said, I'm not sure what the first song I would cover would actually be. Knowing me, it would probably be a Sonic song or something, like, uh... Probably, uh, Endless Possibilities or something. All right. More HP! More XP! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Bonk! Also, I think we need to go back to Koopa Village anyway and talk to the old guy because he'll give us something. If I recall... Um, I don't remember exactly, but I think he will give us something if we if we go back and see him. <laughs> All 
All right, this is this is fine. I'm like I'm in such a habit of doing like the the extra little button press at the end, even though I know it doesn't do anything in this particular game. I'm still used to doing the uh, the stylish. Even though that that's not a thing, it doesn't become a thing until Thousand Year Door. I'm confusing my games. No. I knew it would happen someday. Boom! All right. Two star points. Yay! Womp! Hopefully this won't take long. We can all enjoy the nice, uh... The, the, the nice music. It was hard for me when I found out you have to unlock action commands during the prologue. Yeah, yeah, you get it. Oh, whoops. Mess up on that. Yeah, you get it right from the jump in, uh, in Thousand Year Door, in your very first battle. Or no, not in the very first battle. I think you have to do a... I think there is a, a, a tutorial battle that you have to go through first with uh, a certain guy. Ow! Oh, no, I got it. Good. I was worried that I didn't get it. I mean, if you guys thought... If you guys thought the paper aesthetic was good here, Thousand Year Door takes it up to 11. I will get it someday. I mean, I could always play the OG one, but I want to I want to see the updated version. Oh, never mind. That's a uh, wrong way. If you already have the experience, the action commands are already available in the first battle. The game doesn't tell you that until a few minutes later. Yeah, I remember. I remember. You can actually technically do it. All right. So, if I remember correctly, uh, first off, I can pick up a I can pick up an item from the bushes from one of these bushes. Not quite the item I was looking for. There it is! The Koopa Leaf! Because I recall I can get something from the old man. Oh, hey! I can also go back and get a star piece. I'll take that, thank you. There he is. Oh, welcome, young fella. I'm the elder of Koopa Village. Folks call me Koopa Coot. Say, might you do me a favor? Oh, okay. I remember now. Oh, well, very kind of you. Guess the younger generation ain't so bad after all. Well then, young fella, I don't usually ask for favors, but... That's a lie. That's a lie. Perhaps just uh, one little one? Could you borrow the book Koopa Legends from Colorado? I'm certain if you were to ask Colorado's wife, she would lend it. If it isn't the trouble, uh, please go there as soon as possible. You promise, young fella? I remember. You have to do all these favors for this old man. I completely forgot. Completely forgot this was the guy. I think my husband went to Dry Dry Desert, but who knows? I wonder what he's doing now. I swear I sent him letters, but he hasn't. Has he written back even once? Of course not. Oh, do you need something? You're doing an errand for the elder, are you? Hmm, right, Koopa Legends. Yes, my husband owns that one. Of course you can borrow it. Don't let that old coot work you too hard, okay, Mario? He's known to do that. 
He's also a bit short-tempered. Well, anyway, wait here for just a moment. I'll go poke around my husband's bookshelf. Three, two, one. There it is. Found it! You're talking about this book, right? It's all yours. It was behind the bookshelf. Koopa Legends, Co Colorado's strange book. It's strange. That book, it has all these pictures of shells and exercises. Firmer shells in 30 days? Mm-hmm. Little sussy book, but that's fine. There you go. There you go. Oh, great Captain Gombers! You're a lifesaver, Mario! This is just what I needed. <laughs> to show my gratitude, I'd like to make a gift to this. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take this. A singular coin for our trouble. Alright, I may go back and do more... I, I am gonna go back and do more of his quests, but not right now. I actually gotta remember what all the what all the quests are. Because I know you can get some unique items from him if you do a certain number of quests. But for now, let's rest up before we finish the rest of the road to Toe Town. The updated version is better. Yeah, I've heard that too. The, uh... The remaster is better in, like, pretty much every way. Which is why I really want to get my hands on it. Alright! Now, like I said, back to Toe Town. Also, you may notice, uh... We're actually getting less XP now. Uh, from these guys that we've encountered already. That's the problem with backtracking. It is possible for you to grind in this game, but it's a bit of a tedious endeavor. So even though it's the exact same enemies that we fought already, we're actually getting less XP for them now, which stinks. I wish I could have just kept the XP gain the same. All right, but just wallop these guys. I if I if I remember correctly, there is a uh, there is a badge in this game that actually will allow you to spin past uh, weaker enemies and just like knock them out outright. I don't I don't remember what badge that is, but I'm gonna see if I can maybe uh, get my hands on it later on. I think it's from I think you get it from the bad shop in Tone Town. But at least you still get coins and stuff for beating enemies, so it's not all bad. Bomp! 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 There's also another badge that prevents you from taking spike damage, so... Later on, you can actually jump on the spiky enemies. At least I think it's in this one. I know for a fact it's in, uh... It's in the other, uh... Thousand Year Door, because... There was a certain boss battle that I could not complete without it. But I'm pretty sure it's gotta be in this one, too. I don't know, I don't utilize badges all that much, except for the, uh... The FP and the HP plus badges are the ones that I normally, uh, utilize the most. He reminds me of the old... Tool? Tooly? The second game? I'm not sure who, you, who you're referring to, uh, NSM. Sorry. Ba-boom! Alright, we should be back. It wasn't until I saw a Let's Play that I learned that there are certain strategies with certain badges. Yeah, yeah! It's kind of like with, uh... It's kind of like with Elden Ring, too, I discovered. There are certain, uh... Oh, crap. I forgot he was here. Hold it right there, Mario! <laughs> I've been waiting for you! Guess who's back, everybody? 
Guess who's back? Back again. This loser's back. Go tell your friends. I told you I'd be back. Now I'll get my revenge. Here it comes, baby. Check this out. <laughs> Mario, I'm talking to you. I promise you this fight will be much different from before. Who is this crazy guy? What a nut. Shut up. You! Mario! Of course you remember me! Of course I do, but I'm gonna tell him no just to piss him off. What? Darn it! You don't remember me? Listen, you, you big lug! My name is Julia Troopa! Remember it and tremble! After this beating, you'll definitely remember it! Nope, I don't remember Small Fry, sorry. You have to be at least... You have to be at least two feet tall for for you to register in my memory. Get ready, you hurt, Mario. I'm gonna show you a new skill I just picked up. Yeah, check that out. You've never seen anything like it before, have you? Your attacks are useless now. Electrocute him. Yeah! Oh, you have Mario and six battle skills! It's not over yet, though! Yeah! Like, I probably didn't even need to use my, uh, my item on him. I just wanted to get this battle done quickly. Yeah, this guy is seriously annoying. You know what? Bombette? Why don't you do the honors, honey? Still not? Jeez. How many times do I have to hit this guy? How many times must I defeat you, small child? Actually, quite a lot. Quite a lot in this game. Bye-bye! Beautiful! Bye-bye! Uh... Mayor Croup! Okay, I thought that's who you were talking about. It's the same one whose peach was his mom. No, it's not Bowser Jr. It's a... It is a different character. Uh oh Hang on. Remember me? I heard you say the Honorable Star Spirit who was captured by the Koopa Bros! Bowser and his gang are so angry about it! I gotta go, see ya! Alright, take care, Tyrant! Thanks so much for tuning in! Have a great rest of your day! I knew you could do it, Mario! You're on your way! But enough celebration for now! I come bearing important information for you! It seems that one of the star spirits is being held captive somewhere in dry, dry desert. Bowser wrote it in his diary, someplace called the Dry, Dry Ruins. The princess braved the dangers of the castle to get you this clue, Mario. If we find out anything else, I'll hurry back to tell you. I have to go back to her highness now. She's so brave. I hope this news helps. All right. We made it back. Gonna top off my health real fast. But with that, we have a new heading. A new location to head out to, and we will do that next time. So I'm gonna go ahead and save my game real quick. And that is gonna be our stopping point for tonight. We will start up chapter two next time. We'll take care of some stuff in town, and then we'll start up chapter two. Uh, I will be back at it again tomorrow 
with Try It Tuesday. I have two brand new games to check out that I would like to share with you guys, and hopefully you guys will be into them. And if you like them enough, there may be full LPs of them down the road. So be sure and tune into that and see what I've got cooked up for you. We've also got my return to Elden Ring on Thursday. I am very nervous about this, but hopefully it'll go well. I'm bringing in reinforcements, so you'll just have to wait and see who they are. But uh, I think you guys will—I think you guys will enjoy it. Also, don't forget Supersonic Saturday and Dog and Rumpa this weekend. I'm gonna be streaming a lot, guys. For now, though, let's go do a raid, shall we? Let's go. We're gonna raid, uh, we're gonna raid Cassie. Uh, she is right now doing, uh, let's see, what is she, what is she playing right now? Okay, she's doing Final Fantasy XIV. She's playing Final Fantasy XIV right now, so we're gonna pop in and say hello. Uh, so, those of you who are sticking around for the raid, stand by. As for everybody else, uh, if you're signing off now, Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you guys had a great time. We'll be back at it next week. Until then, this is SGG signing off. Stay super. And I will see y'all the next time. Those of y'all sticking around, stand by for the raid. So long for now.